Nothing to look at here. Okay. Thank you. I'm doing it in a dress. But uh, more importantly, Adam Molnar is about to come on. I met Adam in Budapest at uh, an incredible heroism conference, and I'm going to let him explain the rest. Thank you. So Matt just referred that we met first in Budapest, Hungary, last year. I think it's important, but the most important thing is the journey, not the destination, so how I got here and how I got there. So in 2030, um, I was attending a TEDx youth conference in Budapest, Hungary, and in the break I was sharing my thoughts about the things that uh, I want to change the world, so I guess this vision, and since I'm a software engineer, I see the patterns everywhere, right? So it was my biggest um, revelation and research was like this computer science, and IT is not about computers and codes and zeros and ones, no. It's about the patterns behind, about humans, it's about psychology, everything, is how it's working behind the things. So I got pretty excited about these things, and me while I was talking, a lady stepped up to me and told, hey, can I have a minute from you? Of course I did, so why not? Okay, so she just asked, hey, I'm, I'm uh, Georgi Oros, and um, do you know Zimbardo, maybe, Dr. Zimbardo? Of course I know, oh my god. He's this guy who made the prison experiment, you know, then rewrote the whole social psychology. It's amazing. Yes, 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 she said, but you should know what, what's the current research of his is now happening on. So, right? It was a, he's working on a framework for heroes just to promote everyday heroism. This got me so excited. So, really? Hmm, that's great. So, go on. So, we just friended it up. So, we are together and, and, and we, we have this aim together to make a difference, make a change in Hungary. But we don't really have a team, we have great people, but, but would you like to join to make something very big happen in Hungary, to change Hungary? <laughs> I was just like, oh my god, this is something I really uh, dreamed of, this is what I want to do, really. So, of course, I said yes. So, a few weeks later, Hero Square Initiative has been born. And, well, in one year, we were able to reach 60% of Hungary the population of Hungary, and we had uh, like to teach 600 teachers and give trainings to them to make the verb better and to give them patterns. All of these trainings were based on Dr. Zimbardo's model. This is a heroic imagination project. It's really about uh, seeing the patterns behind the, the mission of the heroes, um, heroic imagination project is like to... Um, well, I tried to rehearse it, maybe. Okay, so anyways, it's really about how, pe how people are behaving, how things are working in the background, and to give you new kind of patterns, new kind of knowledge behind the psychology to make a better world, right? Like, we are working with bystander effect. You know, home, um, who knows what is bystander effect? Right here. Okay, that's fine. Pre oh, that's amazing. So we're working about uh, trainings where we can provide information about bystander effect, situational awareness, prejudice, mindset, things like that. So this, this, is, this is pretty amazing, and we could reach 60% of Hungary in one year. So it, it's really good being part of this, and while I felt this, a lot of people were, came to me that, okay, I love what you are doing, this really makes sense, so how can I join, what can I do? And this was some, some challenge for me, because I could not really say my friends that, uh, hey, here's this tool, do this and that, like a daily quest, do something great, because we were providing trainings, you know, for teachers and, and for corporate folks, and for civil alliance, which is, which is very, very great. But, I, but it was stuck into the mind, and I really wanted to find something out that what can I give them just to act heroically. Because, you know, I could always say that, hey, that's fine, call it trash, or, or give blood, those are really great, but not using the science, what we, what we know since Zimbardo, you know. I wanted something, something I can, I can give them. And basically, what I, I've seen after this is the um, heroical structure, how things are working. So first, here is the systemic good, what is Hero Square and Heroic Imagination Project is. They are providing this knowledge and letting you find out your own ways, how you can help the people in need. So it is a very powerful thing. 
Here is the other thing I can uh, find, for example, Hungary. This is Debrecen heroes who are just uh, 200 keen volunteers and uh, giving blood and doing good day by day. I find it amazing what they are doing. So, since I love these two things, I wanted to combine them. It, it was like, uh, why not we find something out that we can just, just combine, mix it up, and, and have something which is like a systemic daily good deeds, you know, which you can do every day, but implementing the frameworks that we, what we were using. So, it was like a big challenge for me. I really wanted to find something out. So, the solution came from a very different point of view. It's like a true nature of innovation when uh, you just see something and combine already existing things together and pff, you have something new. So this revelation just reached me in a camp. We have this invisible university thing and we usually have camps. Um, this is a time management lecture um, volunteering thing, so we just give time management lectures for university students for free because we love it and we believe in it, that it's useful. So I've been mean, there and in every camp we have a year, we have a nice tradition. Uh, we give five slips, blank slips of paper for every attendee in the beginning of the camp and we say that, hey, you, are, uh, you have to give these papers to someone who inspired you. So you have to say, write something on it that, hey, this is my name, this is yours, okay, you, get in, you inspire me because of this, and give it to him. It, it's, it's like good. So I got these in a camp. Oh, what's happened? Okay. So I get papers, <laughs> and one of which was saying, oh, brightness level plus 100, thank you. Other, your workshop really changed my mind, that's great. Third, thanks for the chat in the evening. That really counted me a lot. Really? That's, that's fine. I, I mean, I was just doing but I thought it's normal, right? So these feedbacks were like uh, making me, oh my God, really? I, I really had an impact, I really influenced them? Then I want to do it again. I, I, want to, I want to put even more effort into it and make it even better, you know? So these little papers just had this effect on me. Then I got this. Your mindset workshop changed how I see the world. You are the hero of my day, thank you. And this was, you know, something, really big something for me, because it's uh, like I was blind before, and now I can see. It, it was a tool I was looking for, because this made me a hero. I mean, it's sad and funny in the same time that I was working in the Heroic Imagination Project in the Hero Square, in the Invisible University, things like that, just to make people become their own heroes and, and, and do good, and I didn't even realize that I'm a hero too. So. This made a plot twist in my, in my head, and I started to, to catch the moment. Why I feel this so good? Why, why is it so awesome? Just, just I got this paper, this little slip of paper, you know. And I catched it. What happened is the one who gave me this card actually uh, told me that I am her hero. But the truth was that with this card, she made herself my hero because touched something inside and, and, and make, make a twist, and I started to, to think very differently after it. So I felt, uh, felt it quite powerful. So she is Carol Dweck, and she is the author of the Mindset Theory, and she was in Budapest. You know, two weeks ago, we, we had a very nice conference, and she was telling of the recent, recent researches of hers. And in the, in the end, there was a Q&A, and uh, someone asked that, Okay, that's, that's really great that I have this gross mindset thing, you know, but how could I change the world if no one ever has it around me? How can I change the world if, if I can't even change my boss? <sighs> she, was, she was so angry. And this is a question, right? So we always have this. We, we, we want to change our mind and other people, hmm, they, they have fixed minds and things like that, don't know the patterns. Okay, what can we do? So Ms. Deck said that, hmm, well, you can always catch the moment when they do something great and give positive feedback on it. Because such a little thing can have a huge ripple effect and change lives. So this was the last drop in my water. So uh, I just, what, I, what I did is I basically um, revamped this whole thing. So I'm, I'm, I show you something like this. Check out this video. Ah. Thank you. <laughs>
Watch this face. So lovely, right? So what's happened here is he didn't want to be a hero, right? But he became. Because we all want to be heroes at some point. What does it mean? So being a hero means that you do something. A hero is someone who does something extraordinary in advance for someone else. I say it. Extraordinary. For someone else, it's completely ordinary for himself, mostly, right? So he didn't even know he's a hero until he got this feedback, this powerful feedback that the choir was going there and singing and oh, applauding, things like that. This, I'm pretty sure this guy will, will remember for this moment because he got such a huge feedback on this, a great thing. So am I saying that uh, always go with a choir with you? Uh, if you can do, yes, pretty sure. That, that's awesome. But <laughs> of course, no. But I just made the math and connected these two things together. And, but it, and what I figured out is you can always have a card, right? So you can always have a card and give it to some, someone else, a slip of paper, and say thank you with it, a lasting thank you, describe a lasting thank you, which can really change the life. So what I did, is revamped this whole thing a bit and converted these slips of paper to a much more looking designed cards and made an application for it to support it, to make it scalable. Because I wanted this system a daily good thing, a scalable thing, but you can give anyone and, and can, can be used and can, can be used with Heroic Imagination Project and Hero Square and with every, every, every volunteer organization in the world. Why not? Or even you can start it using now. So, what I did is basically, oh, this is it. This is the Hero I Am cards. And uh, what it does is something I can show you right now, because, you know, I'm a bit, a bit completely out of my comfort zone right now, right here, but I'm still pretty excited. And what's happening right now is, is my right leg is shaking, <laughs> but I have so much feedback from you positive feedbacks, like Denise is always smiling on me during the presentation. And this is something that which gives me a lot of power and, and, and trust and makes me, makes me continue. So I want to give you a card and, and thank you this thing, because this really something for me. So I appreciate it so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, I lost it. Okay. Sorry, I, I, will take it. I like it better now. Okay. <laughs> You know, it, it was always a strange feeling, but it was here, so it's better here. Okay, thank you. Okay. So what happened right now is, by simply owning the card, I was over the situation, when can I give it, right? So by simply I had it, it was always in my mind that I would look for good situations. Because we have this kind of thing, you know, not only situational blindness for, for bad things, when we don't see where we could help, but we also have this situational blindness for good things, when we could express our gratitude, our, our appreciation, which can have such a big impact. So, I don't know how you feel. This is good. I'm happy about that because this is for you. Thank you. So, this was a very honest and true moment, which I was thinking that I will look for someone to do it, but actually she was the one I had to because she was giving so much energy right now. And you, and you. So, you always see something you can appreciate, right? So, this is a card for what happens on the receiver side. Actually, on the, on the, when, I, when I give it, I just have to be situational aware. And I also have a different mindset, because I know I have something I can give. And because of this, because I know I can influence, I have, I have in, I'm in control. I have this feeling that everything is awesome, because I can, I can make my appreciation. And this is a very great feeling to have. You know? We often forget to express our gratitude to our heroes being with us all the day. It, it can be family, friends, a good conversation partner, the bus driver awaits us instead of speeding away. So he was everywhere. Like, you know, we were talking about this previously today. So here's this card on the receiver side. When you get a card, what's happening is like, <laughs> I see what you did. You did something great. 
thank you, I appreciate it, and I encourage you to do it again. Do it again, because there's something which was valuable for me, I, I love it. You know, you have to do it again. So, there is a code on the right side of the car. You can activate it, you can go to the website, you activate it, which, which makes us connected. You can be a stranger from the street, an important person, doesn't matter, but we get connected, and I can tell you why I give this car to you. So, it can be a lasting thank you described. I can say why you exactly got it. You know, kind words can save lives. So, thank you for this good quote. But this is exactly what's happening right here. Absolutely, I would call it like a proactive heroism. That's something that just popped my mind. So, it, it's like a proactive heroism because you do a wise intervention when everything is normal. Actually, no, you think it's normal, right? So you give it, when everything is ordinary, to have an extraordinary, awesome moment and make lasting change. So this is, this is, this is what's uh, working behind this car. And also, I think the most important thing with this, if you give a car, you will not just give kindness, but you give an entire system forward. Because if you check the website for free and instantly, you can get your own cards with your your own unique codes, and get, can get start spreading this whole thing. So you have a tool that you can give forward, and he can forward to appreciate his heroes, and this whole thing can spread and have a huge impact on the world systematically. So what do you think? Do you like it? Who wants to try it out? <laughs> thank you. So thank you. What, what, what I did is uh, I printed 5,000 cards, and I have them here. I made the website online a few hours ago. So, yeah, I didn't really slap too much. Uh, so, this is the moment, this is the conference where I think some big thing will happen. I mean, I'm pretty sure conferences are for this. Like many people are here together to, to, to change the world, to influence, to do something really great. And you are the people who can do it. We are the people who can do it, and we really need it. We really need each other, really have, need this impact. So we have to do it. So this might be something what I can maybe give you, and you can, it can be useful for you. I don't know. Let's try it out. Um, I think, actually, you can take it as many as you wish. You can go to the website, activate your codes, and start spreading it. So every car matters, because it can make a butterfly ripple effect. You know, It can, it can change. So let's take it, register it, and make the world better. As Nazel Mandela said, we can change the world and make it a better place. It is in your hands to make a difference. Now, I mean it literally. It can be in your hands. So, make the world better, like a hero. Thank you. <laughs>